That's the only one I've ever written directly for the, for the screen. And um, I did it because I was running out of money and uh, I uh, needed money to really sustain myself to, continue, to complete the orphan some cycle. And I never, I've never known how to pitch a story. I just don't do it. But my agent said, you know, they'd, lo they'd love to work with you in Hollywood and you're being very silly and swallow your pride and think of something that you can pitch. And I was embarrassed, but I was a little desperate at the time. And I thought, and I had a friend who was working um, 20th Century Fox, Bodie Boatwright. And I was comfortable with her, and so I went up and told her this idea. And uh, she thought it was interesting, and she said um, one of the big producers at Fox at the time was in town, <coughs> and she won, I think his name is Gary um, Wiggins or something like that. And so I was to meet him and to tell him, and so I told him the idea, and uh, he said, well, I think it's wonderful. And um, the only thing he said, I think, this was about three young musicians who were trying to make their way in the music world. You need an older man in there some way. And I thanked him, and I thought, well, I, you know, well, think about it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. And he said, but tell your agent to come on out and make a deal. So my agent went out, uh, and she got off the airplane, and she picked up a Hollywood reporter or a variety or something. And the headlines was that this gentleman and his partner had been fired from Fox. So she had no deal. And I just thought, well, the Lord's telling me something here, and I'll just go ahead and write it. Because I'd gotten interested, and then suddenly I began to think about this older man, which I thanked this man for. And it became the part that eventually Bob Duvall did. That was the genesis of it, really. And why I thought about it at all was that I had a nephew who had, uh, in college, had gotten interested in uh, country western music. And he was a drummer for a small little combo. And their experiences, it reminded me so much of my early experiences as an actor, that to going around and, and thinking you have a job and you get there and the job's not there. And I really was going to write about that kind of an experience. And I, I don't know why I didn't really, I mean, George Jones, I understand things I've written about him, but I really was thinking about actors that I'd known that had enormous talent that alcohol had just licked them. And um, for instance, the line when they, someone says to Max Ledge, were you ever really Max Ledge? And he says, yes, ma'am. And that happened to a very famous actor I know. that went, walked up to him, were you ever so-and-so? He said, yes, I was. And um, so I finished it and uh, um, didn't know what to do with it, really. I, I, I knew my daughter was a friend of Duval's, too, and she knew he could sing. I didn't realize it. So I called him up and I said, uh, uh, I'd like to talk to you about it. And I think he thought I was going to give it to him to read, but I decided to read it to him, <laughs> poor thing. And if he hadn't liked it, it had been terrible. <laughs> but he loved it. You, re you read it to? Aloud to him. Bob over the phone? Him. No, in the room. I had him in my apartment in New York. <laughs> a lot of huts, but wasn't it? Anyway, he liked it, fortunately. And then we had a difficult time getting it done. I mean, nobody wanted to do it, really. And Every director in town turned it down. And then finally, um, they suggested Bruce Beresford, who's coming tonight, by the way. And I said, uh, oh, uh, I love Breaker Moran. I said, my Lord have mercy, what's he going to do? What's he? I said, you're just wasting your time. But Bruce fell in love with it, and he said he liked it so much. He didn't know, I guess, that everybody else said. He said, I was so afraid that somebody's going to grab it that I called in the middle of the thing and said, I want to do it, if I can get along with the author, she said. So he flew over and we met and we liked each other. And it worked. 